Hi, this is Lorraine, your online success coach with the York County Community College Student Success Commons. Today, I'd like to show you a little bit about our new online learning environment, Brightspace. Let's begin with logging in. To access Brightspace, you can use the link located at the bottom of the YCCC homepage or through your My YCCC account Locate Brightspace at the top. Next, enter your student email and password. Typically, your student email will be s, your first name, your last name, at yccc.edu. Your password is typically defaulted to your student ID number. Upon your first login, you may be asked to change your password to one of your personal choosing. From the home page, you will see your courses laid out in tiles across your screen. Select the class you would like to navigate to to be taken to the classroom. Across the top of your screen, you should see important tabs such as content, assignments, discussions, quizzes, and grades. While every classroom is a little different, Today, I'm going to take you through the most commonly used tools. Let's begin with reading our announcements. These will always be located on your classroom's homepage. Here you will find the most up-to-date notices from your instructor. It's important to check your announcements daily as it may contain important information about upcoming assignments or even corrections needed to previous assignments. Next, let's look at content. Content lays out your course load for the entire semester in modules. It's best to always begin with your syllabus. Most instructors will have a syllabus, and I highly recommend printing out this document and highlighting important points that will aid you throughout the semester. When in doubt, check your syllabus. Let's go back to the table of contents. Looking through our modules, you'll see that there are numbers or check marks next to each of them. When you first begin your courses, you will have numbers next to each one of your modules. As you go through each section of a module, the number will become lower and lower, and once you've completed the module, a check mark will appear. This will ensure that you've completed everything that you need to do in your module for that week. Let's take a deeper look into a module. As you can see, I've already completed section one of module two. The next section contains an assignment. To upload an assignment to Brightspace, simply click upload. Locate your file. And most importantly, don't forget to hit Submit. Until you have completed your assignment and uploaded it into Brightspace, the check mark will not appear next to the section that you've completed. As you can see, the number next to Module 2 has also ticked down. Next up is discussions. A majority of your online classes will require a weekly discussion group. The purpose of a discussion is to simulate the in-class experience using engaging ideas to challenge and support those of your classmates. It's a great place to learn and discover more about your subject. Your initial thread is typically due midweek as to allow time for others to respond. The more timely each student is with the discussions, the more engagement you will find. Procrastination is no one's friend in discussion groups. To submit your initial post, simply click on the relevant link, start a new thread, and when you're done, hit post. It's recommended that you write your post in Word or Pages initially. This way, if something happens with your internet, you won't lose all of your hard work.
Brightspace will automatically notify you in your alerts section if someone has responded to your thread. As a side note, notifications also include feedback or private correspondence from instructors and updated grades as they come in. Most classes will require that you submit responses to your classmates in the discussion group. How many responses you submit is at the discretion of your instructor. Always check your syllabus if you're not sure. To reply, simply click on the thread of your classmate and hit reply to thread. Always keep the conversation flowing. Did that classmate give you a new idea? Do you respectfully disagree? What surprised you about their post? Don't forget to hit post when you're done. Let's get back to module two. That means it's time for a quiz. Read the instructions for your quiz carefully. You may get one attempt, unlimited attempts, or anything in between. If you have multiple attempts, Brightspace will keep the highest score as the final grade. Some quizzes allow you to save and come back while others have time limits with no allowance for exiting once a quiz is in progress. Prepare accordingly. Now let's take a quick look at the tabs along the top of our page. These are shortcuts to get to your items that are due throughout the semester. We've already discussed how to submit your assignments, post your discussions, and take your quizzes. But let's delve a little deeper. In quizzes, you'll find feedback, attempts, and grades for all of your quizzes throughout the entire semester. Discussions will give you a quick way to access all of the threads throughout the semester. The Assignments tab is a place to quickly access all your assignments due throughout the course and view feedback. If you ever feel nervous that perhaps a file you uploaded did not go through, check here. It's a great reassurance. In some courses, you may find rubrics stored here as well. A rubric is a standards by which an assignment is graded to ensure it includes all necessary elements and whether or not the information you provided was proficient. A rubric is a great way for students to make sure they get it right. Finally, under grades, you will find all of your assignment, discussion, and quiz grades in one place, including feedback from your instructor on how you can improve. You can learn a lot from feedback, so don't ignore it. It could turn that B into an A next time around. Hopefully this video has made you feel a little more comfortable with the ins and outs of Brightspace. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or anyone at the Student Success Commons to get you on the right path. Have a great semester.